Hi, welcome to Think Outside the Blind. This is the end of duck season for many. The season is closed for a lot of you. May still be a little itchy to do something duck related. Well, stay tuned. Today, I'm going to give you many tips for cleaning your bird mounts. Today, I'm going to cover cleaning this model duck. I shot this model duck with my friend when I lived in Florida down in Cape Coral area, uh, Ron Smith of the Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, he and I met a couple times. He took me out in his airboat and on one such hunt we hunted the Everglades and I shot a double my limit for the day of these model ducks. Sometimes they're referred to as Florida mallards. But today we're going to do a deeper cleaning, clean the driftwood, uh, use some lacquer thinner to clean the speculum and make that pop that brilliant blue again. Um, give it all a good dusting. All right. So the first tool I'm going to use is actually a Swiffer sweeper and I'm just going to start at the back of the duck here and just lightly brush in the direction of the feathers. And just try to hit all the areas you can. Just be careful, lightly dab on the feet because those toenails will catch and you don't want to accidentally rip the whole bird off the wall. All right, so just sort of go over as much as you can reach with it hanging on the wall. Right now I'm gonna use this hog bristle fan brush and it's good and stiff, um, but still can be used lightly across the feathers, but works real good and really getting into the crevices of any of the driftwood. The reason I want to keep it, rather than hand holding it, keep it hanging on the wall as much as possible, is just so I reduce chance for something happening with this. All right, so I'm gonna just keep working my way through this. And then once done with this, show you what the next step is. Right, now that the driftwood is done, I'm gonna work on these feet, which are just atrocious. I've just missed this back part of these feet, so. Um, you might find that you need to gently just hold on to the bill as you do this to give you a little bit more stability. So I'm going to go over these tail feathers, continue brushing in the direction of the feathers. And this allows me to put a little more pressure, get into the crevices, really get the dust out. All right, gonna gently do some cleaning here, just ever so slightly, hitting the feathers, going in the direction of the feathers. I've hit every part of the duct that I can access with it hanging on the wall, and I'm gonna hold it with my hand, and I'm gonna have to put the camera down for this one, but then just access every nook and cranny, just dusting it off with the fan brush. Now I'm going to work on some of these displaced feathers, putting them back into place. One of my favorite tools for this is a bamboo skewer. So a lot of times when you see a feather out of place like this, uh, the feathers that's supposed to be on top is tucked underneath. You can tell them because you can see the white base of the feather. So we're just going to reach under here and see if we can... We're just going to reach under here and see if we can gently pull up the one that's supposed to be on top. There, and tuck it back underneath. So these bamboo skewers work excellent, or a little awl, uh, to really kind of just work and stroke everything back into place. You can really get, uh, clean up your edges um, by just stroking the outside. Kind of put everything back in its place, and stroke along the edges and in these creases. Sort of rake it through, put things back in place. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of more advanced cleaning and really try to get the colors pop. I'm gonna start with some lacquer thinner and put it in a small container. All right, so I've dipped my brush in the lacquer thinner. Just gonna lightly dab the brush onto paper towel to get some of the excess off and then start slowly brushing over the feathers in the direction of the feathers. So as a final pass on the feet and the bill, I'm gonna use cotton swabs. I'll dip them in water, then use a paper towel or a shirt to get some of the moisture off of the Q-tip. And then lightly go back over the Q-tip, just barely damp, 
you know, when you're doing this cleaning, you want to be very gentle. I'm going to wrap up with uh, demonstrating my cleaning techniques on this canvas back that was mounted by Pat Magruder of Avian Arts. He lives north of Dallas. I shot this bird on Lake Texoma on the Oklahoma side with a good friend. Again, I'm using a barely damp cotton swab to clean the eye and then following it with the dry side of the swab. I want to make sure to never use any kind of solvents on the bill or around the eyes. You never want to loosen up the glue that's holding that skin just around those eyes and that bill. And gently with a very slightly damp cotton swab go over the bill, stabilize it. Thanks for staying tuned. I hope you found that helpful. Please subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and follow me on Instagram. Think outside the blind.